Limelight Capital here, back for another video. So, uh, I did mention in my last video that I was going to start taking, not taking, but I was going to start uh, looking at some of the best and most popular DD due diligence or uh, just the most popular posts on Reddit. And I'm going to be doing read alouds for YouTube solely as uh, like almost like an archive, like a backup. There has been a lot of uh, other content creators on YouTube and on Reddit, people getting, <laughs> I don't know if they're getting banned or whatnot, but like, you know, shills have infiltrated and they're doing a damn good job. I mean, they're reporting people for mental illness, saying they're suicidal and reporting people and getting people banned. So I'm not doing this for profit. I mean, this is solely just for, uh, for you know, me to look back and read it or to listen to it and for anyone else. So guys feel free to uh you know use this at your leisure and share it. it doesn't matter i'm not again i'm not doing this for profit so let's start this is by the user the ceiling is the roof it was posted four hours ago 2.3k upvotes title is how the short squeeze buyback works prepare yourself i've seen a lot of discussion happening over how all these hedgies are going to be able to buy back all the shares they have shorted so let's break this down to simple terms if we can elia also known as explain it like i'm an ape please interject any criticism da, 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 da. first it is important to realize that once the hedge funds are margin called they are no longer in control of the situation all buyback is handed over to the clearing houses that handle balancing the books to cover all their losses the hedge funds that are short will have to buy back all the shorted stocks they have done until the correct amount of shares in circulation are really on the market. Let's break this down as a formula. I'm not going to assume any short interest or usual numbers in this because enough DD has been done on it to begin with. I agree with that. Plus, there's no real way to, uh, like, completely accurately determine the short interest. So, A, the amount of shares that are currently in circulation held by institutions institutions insiders and retail and all other entities including the naked short shorted shares subtracted by b the number of shares that should be in existence equals c the number of shares that will have to be bought back to rectify the number to what it should be a minus b equals c so he was just explaining his uh calculation here the hedge funds will have to purchase an amount of c shares to clear their debt and their clearinghouse will do that for them they are not able to do anything crafty and turn one purchase share into purchasing 10. They will have to purchase one to one what they owe. A key to business is that for every buyer, there needs to be a seller. They have to buy back what is on the market for sale. If there are none, then they just keep raising the price until there are some to put up. If retail investors, I'm not going to assume the amount that retail currently owns, Again, that's something that's very hard to find. I mean, it's rumored that retail owns more than 100% of the float, which would be almost 50 million shares, but who knows. Do own uh, If retail investors do own more than what the float is and collectively choose not to sell to the hedge funds, does this mean that retail sets the price? Well, no. Anyone saying that they have to buy back all of our shares is not accurate. They have to purchase the amount of shares necessary to get back to the original amount but the shares the more shares held and not sold during this going up will make the price increase with less stops along the way we also have to account for the fact that the amount of shares held now will not be the same as during the mother of all short squeezes or the moas people will be jumping on board as this is going up including institutions if they choose to sell their shares to get immediate attendees this will count toward the balance of shares owed by the evil hedge funds. Does this mean that some apes will be bag holders? No. Rest assured, you will have an opportunity to get your attendees, apes. Some key things to remember about this are as follows. One, their continuous purchasing of the stock will make this price go up continuously as well. The upward pressure on this thing will, will cause jumps in price of which the stock market has never seen? Two, if the short interest is anywhere close to what some of the DD is mentioning, could be 200%, could be goddamn 5,000%, we don't know because they've been able to hide it 
with deep in the money calls, then this is going to take a long time to unravel. They will be buying back shares multiple times over. This is not going to be reconciled in a matter of hours. You will have time to get your to your moon that you choose. 3. Full Disclosure I'm putting an edit here to clear up any misunderstandings about the price drop. When the purchasing is done and they've finally ba balanced the books, this is still going to take a while to come back down to earth. The price of the stock will hover for quite a while and it will not plummet from 10 million to 100 in seconds. Do not be afraid that you won't win this. You will get tendies. As long as there is buying pressure, you will be able to sell. Remember though, that to sell your stock, your broker needs to have a buyer at a certain price. A seller always needs a buyer as pointed out below by Mr. Frozen Man. So if there are no buyers, you may have to wait on option four. Number four, even with the purchase price currently, you will get tendies. The announcement of what they're going to do at the annual shareholders meeting is excellent news. Ryan Cohen is going to transform this company into a powerhouse. It will be unstoppable, especially with the support of newly minted millionaire apes. The fact that they are paying top level people by profit the company makes gives them incentive and motivation to kick this into overdrive, something the previous board lacked. I agree. <laughs> previous board was all boomers tldr too long didn't read dear apes keep hodling keep the faith prepare for this mother of all short squeezes that is about to take place prepare an exit plan prepare for life-changing money prepare 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 personally i'm holding to 10 million dollars see you retards on the moon diamond hand emojis and rocket emojis this is not financial advice, do what you feel. This is just to give reassurance. I am smooth-brained, don't listen to me or look to me for guidance. Edit number one. One quick edit to start. This goes for all hedge funds too, not just Citadel, as pointed out by the recycled mail. Each one will be going through the same process if they shorted GameStop. Remember too, all their other short positions will be exposed, and if they're going bankrupt, those will have to be covered as well. Edit number two, I'm going to try to reply to all I can, but this has already gotten bigger than I expected. I'm currently at work and I have to do at least a little today. So calling all apes, any questions, please jump in and help me out. This is why we are a community, to discuss and educate each other, much appreciated. Edit number three, from user Rosian, there will be trading halts on the way up for such large increases. This is not a time to worry. This is a safeguard that is in place for the stock market to hopefully regulate prices on normal stocks when things get crazy. This, however, will be crazy and is not normal. So expect multiple upon multiple halts with prices as, the increase, as they increase rapidly. Just sit back now and know that apes got your back and are holding just like you. All right, guys. Thanks for listening. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be doing a whole series of videos like this, just doing read alouds on Reddit, adding a little bit of uh, explanation on stuff. No, I'm not going to be diving in too deep, but um, yeah, guys, I'll leave it there. Uh, and I'm going to keep putting these videos out, so keep looking for them, guys. Thanks. I'll catch you in the next one.